Sagittarius, welcome to your May 2021 tarot reading. Just as I finish shuffling the cards, let me tell you about the main highlight for you this month. The sun is entering your seventh house of love and social connections. This month, you will get much further by being light than by showing people how clever you are or how wrong they are. Some of you will be looking at your personal appearance, thinking it's maybe time to get out of the sweatpants, back into something a bit more smart, pop on the makeup, lose some weight. In work, remember, likability is the main thing. If you can get them to smile back at you, rather than to think how smart you are, just this month, you will get better results. So bear that in mind. Okay. I think we're ready. So your main influence for the month is the Knight of Swords. Your relationships and love, Knight of Pentacles. Money and work, Six of Wands. Where you might experience challenges, the Nine of Cups. I'm laughing at that, I'll tell you why in a minute. And where you experience good luck, the Hermit. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Your main card for the month ahead is the Knight of Swords. So hold on to your hat, Sagittarius, because the pace is going to pick up. Events spark back into life. That's what this card really means. Where you've been experiencing stagnation, feeling like you're waiting around, not much happening. Well, that's all going to change this month. COVID, I think, has been a dampener in that way on many of our destinies. But what it is going to result in as we emerge is that people's destinies are going to speed up. And particularly you, I think you are going to more than make up for lost time. That's, but that's you, you know, you're the fire sign. So that's your main influence for this month, Sagittarius. Expect the pace to pick up. The next card is your love and relationships area, and you've received the Knight of Pentacles. Now, he's much more of a plodder than our last guy. So what this is saying is no drama in the love and relationships area this month. Status quo, which is good. And this means, this could just as well mean love relationships, friendships, and at work. Some of you are going to be moving house or location this month. Others are going to be taking a trip out of town, perhaps for a job interview or a business deal, and that will be successful. But as this falls in the relationship area, it could also be somebody close to you in the family as well who this is happening to. And obviously whatever happens to them will impact you. So that's your love and relationships area. The next card is your work and money area. And this is known as the victory card. Doesn't everybody like this fellow? Now, it reminds me that the sun is in your social area and your love area as well. So what this means is your likability factor is very important in the work and money area this month. Some of you are, um, some of you are going for job interviews and you're going to be successful. But if you're looking for a promotion or an increase in salary, something like that, you're going to be successful. If you have put some creation out there into the world, maybe it's been out there a while and you're waiting, or maybe you have put it out there more recently, you should see feedback this month. So you should begin to see results or an offer coming through. If you are waiting on a court case you should get a result this month and it will be in your favor and finally for those of you who are retired I have a special message for you because this is these the ones represent fire and you are the fire sign which means action renewed energy motivation you're feeling good and the tarot wants to tell you that this is a good time for you to consider taking a more leadership role. So perhaps that's in some part-time project or a voluntary project. And it's saying, don't be one of the minions, go for one of the leadership roles. Put yourself out there because that's what you were born to do. There's lots of energy in you and you can really help make things happen. So that's where you belong, Sagittarius. Okay, so that's your work and money area. Um, the next card is where you're going to experience challenges this month. Now, I had to laugh when I saw this come out because this is the luckiest card in the deck, one of the luckiest cards, and it fell in your challenges area. So he's known as the genie and you just want to like rub his little tummy and say, 
your wish will come true. Give him your wish. So what he's saying is your wish will come true this month or something will happen to you this month, which is like a wish fulfilled, but it proves to be a challenge. So there are strings attached. My feeling is that whatever it is, we know that the Knight of Swords is bringing in speed. So it could be something that you put out there. You might think, well, we might try to fall pregnant or I'll put my resume out there and just see if there are anyone is interested or we'll put the house on the market just to see and whatever it happens you get a result much faster than you expect which requires you to take decisions and organize yourself in a way that proves a little bit of a challenge but it's no big deal so whatever happens this month that suddenly spurs you into action sooner than you kind of were prepared for it's good that's i mean it's a really nice challenge to have so that's your challenge area for the month and you'll pass with flying colors i've no doubt Okay, so the final card is where you're going to experience luck this month. You've received the Hermit, which is a major destiny card. When one of these turns up in your reading, Sagittarius, pay attention because it really is an important message for you. The Hermit says you have been receiving spiritual insights about your life or just insights. You don't even have to tag the word spiritual onto it if you don't want to. But over the past few months, you've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of inner work. Some of you are meditating, journeying, whatever it is. And you've come to the realization, you what? life is too short not to do the thing that I want to do. And now is the time to do it. So what that thing is will be very unique to each of you. You might let me know, in fact, in the comments below what it is, what this insight has been that you have said, you know, life's too short. I'm just going to, mm, what is that mm, thing you're going to do? Because whatever it is, you're right. This is the right time. Throw yourself out there, um, put any fears aside and anxiety or whatever it is, just go and do it because it will trigger luck in all sorts of unique ways for each of you. And that is, I said, a very powerful message. As we said, it's a major destiny card, so pay attention to it. Okay, Sagittarius, it looks like a really interesting month for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you could like the video, uh, maybe subscribe, and I will see you next month. Mwah. Bye. So that's a brief reading for you for the month ahead. If you want the full story and more guidance, then do book a private email or phone reading with me. The details are on my website below. And in the meantime, I look forward to seeing you next month.